couldn't find me in the world if you wanted to. And like, especially selfies, I don't have any selfies. And then so one day when he showed up with this camera and uh, then he put another camera and another camera and it was just shining upon me with lights, I got real nervous real quick. And I was like, oh, can you, I don't think I'm ready for this. And You've grown into the role. I've grown into the role and now, now I'm a monster. All right, I'm Jonathan with Nomadic Cooling. We're over here at HQ3, Glendale, Arizona at Nomadic Cooling. We have a special guest star today. He's here, he's in town. He just came, where'd you come back from? The San Juan Valley? San Juan River. San Juan River. Back rafting the San Juan River. You were rafting? Yeah, little boats. Little boats? They, was live, the, they live in the back of the van. Was, there, uh, was the water cold? It wasn't too bad. Tried to stay out of it. I feel like it's too cold for yeah. me, Kenny. As you know, I'm a fair weather van lifer. This is what we call a real van lifer, okay? Notice the flip-flops, okay? The laid-back attitude. Uh, nowhere to be specifically on a certain time or schedule. Don't even know what day it is? Don't even, he doesn't even know what day it was, okay? He thought today was Saturday. We said, no, today is Friday, okay? He's gonna do a quick uh, walk around of his van that he made meticulously by himself. I gotta be quite honest with you. It looks fantastic. He also brought in, he had a question for us, and the question was, is my air conditioner making a funny sound? We're gonna address that later. The other thing I really want to address, and the important thing about this video, is voltage drop in an air conditioner. Now, what is voltage drop? It is the distance from your batteries up to your air conditioner and the difference in voltage that you'll see. You'll see a larger number at your battery and a lower number at your air conditioner. Why is that important? If you put your batteries too far away from your air conditioner, it makes a big difference on how long that air conditioner will run. We'll show you an example of that shortly. So Kenny, grab your camera and let's get into it. I'm uh, Chris Grove, built out this van about four years ago. We've been living it for three years, traveling around Canada, US, hopefully soon Mexico. 2016 4x4, 3500, so dually. So it's actually not overloaded, about 2,000 pounds under um, its rated weight. Back here we have a full-time bed. We didn't want to have to set up anything when we go from driving to, to sleeping or parking. So we just pull over, turn the seats around, crawl in bed when you want. Normal sort of kitchen setup, sink, induction cooktop, lots of drawers, lots of storage, indoor shower. It sets up right where Kenny's standing. Take a shower in here and you take it out back as well for a little bit of privacy for the toilet as well as we hang the shower curtain from it. There's a big curtain rod that goes up. Put a rod across here and this thing hangs up and goes all the way around and then down at the bottom we have something Jonathan may be familiar with because it's a dog bath. And that's where all the water goes. And you have a little shower wand. We got a little hook up here so it sits up there and you take your little shower. When you're all done, you, you dump your water and, and you've got your shower. My wife loves it. We have a rule. Every other day we take a shower in the van. So. <laughs> <laughs> so another sort of interesting thing is we built this uh, couch so it slides out here. So. Um, so it doesn't take up all the room when you're driving. But uh, there's a uh, all the 600, 680 amps of uh, lithium battery back here. We've got a 32 gallon water tank, 20 gallon uh, auxiliary fuel tank. We've got new suspension, agile and uh, compass, uh, van compass. And have a, a winch up front, which we hopefully never have to use, but we have it there if we need to. Put all the gear, usually a couple of these boxes on top here. And, we carry three boats, two bikes, canyoneering gear, hiking gear, backpacking gear. Another shower back here, so, so you can take showers out back when it's nice. And of course, the best thing, nomadic AC unit, 2000. With global warming, we no longer can escape the, uh, the heat all the time, so now we can sleep in comfort. Let's talk real quick about voltage drop. Super simple, this, this is important for when you're placing your batteries inside your van in relationship to your air conditioner. 
for everything else, it'll be just fine. Okay, your lights, every refrigerator, it won't matter. It only matters when you're pulling 50 or 100 amps. The batteries are right here. The air conditioner is in the back of the 170. We have a distance run depth of 15, 20 feet, yeah. roughly. The voltage on the batteries right now are, let's look, check our app. 13.22. 13.22. I'm gonna turn the air conditioner on and I'm gonna turn it on high cool. Okay, you won't see a big difference in low cool, but in high cool, Kenny, let me jump up here. The AC's currently on. I'm gonna turn it on to high cool. Right now, you'll see the voltage drop at the unit because it says what it is. Right now, it's 12.8 here okay we have 12.8 at the air conditioner and back at the batteries what's the voltage now 13.17 13.17 okay now the air conditioner is kicking up it's starting to cool as it's doing that when it's in high cool mode it will consume more electricity increasing your voltage drop right now we are at 12.4 at the air conditioner. And Kenny, if you get my gobbler with this angle, we're gonna be in big trouble, okay? 12.4 here, what are we at the batteries? 13.15. 13.15, we almost have a discrepancy of an entire volt. Why does that matter? If the air conditioner turns itself off at 11.2, when you're running your calculations for how long your air conditioner can run, based on your amp hours of your battery, you also have to include the voltage drop, which is the distance from your batteries to your air conditioner, because this will turn off at 11.2 at the unit, which is probably 12.1 or so on the, on the batteries themselves. So you have, to, you have to calculate that when you're calculating everything and remember that. Okay, right now, just to go over it, we're at 12.4 at the unit, and at the batteries, we're at 13.1. 13.1, I'm not good at math. Kenny's gonna do the math up here. Guys, thank you for taking a tour with us of this self-built, beautiful camper van. Thank you for everybody. And remember, if you wanna go further in comfort without voltage drop, put your batteries closer to your air conditioner. And remember, go further in comfort with nomadic cooling. Without my gobbler, Kenny, remember that. Check you later, dude. Alligator. Alright, alright, alright.